43-year-old Sundar Pichai takes over as Google CEO after the company announced the formation of Alphabet, a new Google parent company. Pichai is a graduate of the Indian Institute of Technology, Kadakpur, where he studied metallurgical and materials engineering. He also earned a master's in engineering and materials science from Stanford and got his MBA from the Wharton School of Business. Pichai will oversee Google's core businesses, search, ads, YouTube, Android, and Chrome. So who is Sundar Pichai, and how did he reach the post of CEO? Well, Sundar Pichai, like a lot of other uh, top Google executives, is out of Stanford. He joined the company in 2004, right around the time that they went public. He's been a pretty fast riser, actually, within the company, though. He's been a product leader, uh, starting with things like Chrome. He eventually became in charge of the entire Android business. And then his, his most latest job title has been essentially the senior vice president of products. So when Google does their annual developers conference every year called I.O., he's usually been the keynote speaker there. So at Google, we've always been working hard to build products for everyone in the world. He's got a lot of visibility over the last few years. So I, to people who've been following Google, he's a very well-known entity and very well-respected. He's considered a very, uh, very smart, brilliant guy to run this business. I think the investors are taking it as a good sign that he's involved here. But Google's just an interesting company in this way that the guys that have founded it, uh, Larry Page and Sergey Brin, have effectively been running it all these years. They, they seem to have a lot more interest in the in the stuff that's not really the core business. You know, the core business of Google is still is the $60 billion advertising business. But if you were to find uh, Larry or Sergey, I think at a party and ask them to think about things like paid clicks or cost per click and all the metrics that go into that business, um, I don't think they'd be terribly interested in talking about that. When they have a when they have a public forum and they have a chance to speak publicly, they are usually focusing on the big ideas that Google is pursuing. And I think that's really their passion. So in a sense, putting somebody in charge of the actual business who seems to kind of have a good firm grip over the business, I think will be seen as a good thing, you know, while they can kind of put more of their energies and time into these visionary type projects that they seem more interested in anyway.